All right, let's continue. I think this this playthrough is going pretty good. I think so far, I'm liking it. So, uh, holy shit, that's loud. All right, uh, again, sorry, let's turn this a little down. I only turn it up when it's an interview or they're talking or something. All right, let's uh do a location now. Uh, let's go back to the printing company for some reason. Like I, I was supposed to. You're behind the wheel. Like, I was supposed to know that we were supposed to go after the police station. Whatever. Fuck it. A friendly girl used to getting her own way. Little did she know her feminine charms were useless against the impenetrable Cole Phelps. She's not my type. And what is your type, Phelps? I'm married. I know that. But you're not blind or dead inside, are you? Wait. Scrap that second half of the question. Uh, I don't know. Blondes, I guess. Hallelujah, the man is human after all. Now we're getting some. Yep, I'm with you on the blonde. Brunettes are fine too, and there's nothing wrong with a good redhead. <laughs> but I draw the line at grab. You know what? I might have to lift that embargo soon in the interest of maintaining a free market. A man with high standards. The standards are only as high as the last glass of whiskey. I'm liking this DLC. It's more camaraderie between the two detectives, and you know. I thought, I thought the story was a little too dark in L.A. Noir. I mean, it's noir, of course. There is going to be dark. But, uh, you know, I just wanted it to be more, like, you know, just fun. Like, Red Dead Redemption was dark in its ways. But it was also, you know, a little lighthearted in parts. That's what I wanted from L.A. Noir. Not saying I, it should, because, come on, Rockstar made uh, Red Dead Redemption. They didn't make this game. They made parts of it, I'm pretty sure. But uh, they didn't make this. They published it. All right, let's... Let me talk to this guy again. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Man, questions. My one weakness. All right. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? Oh. Uh, oops. Gene Archer testifies to participating in auto death racket along. Okay. Uh, reads Gordon. Printing. I think it's doubt. We have suspects yes. with legitimate pink slips that were printed here, Lightball. You better give me something before I bring the whole department down here. Don't be hysterical, detective. As a matter of fact, <laughs> we had a similar problem a couple of years ago. A number of used car lots were selling blank documents to a criminal organization. You know what? I just noticed about this guy. He sounds a lot like Snagglepuss. Does, there, does everybody remember Snagglepuss? Yeah, exit stage left. He, he sounds a lot like him. You know, go search him up real quick. Pause this video and go uh, search up Snagglepuss if you don't know him. Uh, he sounds a lot like him. Anyway. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Velasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> Hold on, I just, you're right. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> Cliff Belasco. All right, hold on. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Sure. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. God damn it. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightball? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Well, that's not the truth. It's... Hand it over, Lightball. 
You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? <laughs> Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Alright. I love doing this thing where we have to check the ledger. The Heath ledger. Alright, let's do Look it. Look for patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. Unusual addresses, okay. Alright, you know, I already know what the hell we're going to look for, I think. All right. No, 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 what the fuck am I doing? Uh, clues. We're probably going to find the fake address, right? I'm going to think. Oh, no. Wait, yeah, 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 go back. One... <laughs> go back like I'm fucking talking to someone. 146 North Fremont Avenue. That's probably what we're going to find. How much you want that? you be like, oh, who's this guy that went under that? Order, address, collection... Collection, collection, uh, one block, oh no, that's order. No, huh. There's like no addresses, There's a, they're all 58 industry, industrial, industry. Uh, Bigelow, ooh, Bigelow, there you go. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightball. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Oh, uh, is it? That's lame. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. I don't think he cares, really. All right, let's go. All right. Uh, what? How come it's still there? Okay, I guess. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, alright. Let's look real quick, alright? For some reason, it's still there. Maybe maybe we have to come back again. I don't know. Maybe we're not done. Maybe we're still talking. No, we're done. Fuck it. Let's go. We're done. That's it. It's over. You can drive. You can drive. Oh, I'm Cole Phelps. Do, 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 do. I'm a badass detective in the heart of gold, I guess. Alright, let's turn my computer on real quick. Because we're about to get to the end of this part and I need to download this. What the fuck? Uh oh. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of gangsters, right, Bigelow? I thought you Marines were gung ho, Cole. You're 45, don't you ever want to use it? I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. He doesn't want to kill people. Come on. He doesn't like killing people anymore. He's a good guy now, right? He, want, he means good. Now. Not to spoil anything or anything. You used to have a dark Cole house. Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Shut up. Yeah, that's right. Throw out the guns. I'm a badass. Hey, my hat. Oh, my hat. That's a little loud. All right. Yeah, America. Yeah, that's right. Let's clear the top floor. How do I get drilled in the back on the way out? All right, I'm coming. I'm coming, partner. Oh, this part might end, by the way. So. Oh no, wait. There you go. <laughs> Man, 
America. I heard something. Fuck yeah. Alright. Alright, this part's gonna end here, and we'll go on to part five of this DLC. So, see you there.